Alright people, I know this video is late, but meh. Welcome back to Routine, oh, I mean Daily Duels, Daily Routine. I'm not, excuse, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> you know, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the rut, just playing the decks, playing them, dueling against the same decks, let me guess. Uh, Monarchs, I'm assuming, something sackier Monarchs, like usual, you know, and it's just in a rut, people, just in a rut. Go ahead and set my scales up. Go ahead and give me my uh, scout. I said I. I think I still like wavering eyes. You know, some decks play. Some decks please play it. Some decks don't. But you know, the quicker I get that freaking uh, scout, the better. Like, just that overall, that's just a way better experience. Is you know, getting that scout. You know, even if I can't really do much with it at the current moment, it's I. I you know, I'd rather have it than not have it. Right. And you know what? Since you know I'm not completely going out, I would really like to try Reclate. The only problem is, is that I gotta lose one turn, and, you know. I, I, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this, just in case shit hits the fan. Even though if I'm dueling against Monarch, there's a pretty good chance that he's just gonna tribute some Akash or something like that. It's, it's just routine. I'm, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write. I wanna do something new when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Something new, something shiny, and... I thought, you know, I'm gonna talk about this more later. I really, I'm just trying to wrap this week up. That's that's essentially what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna hold on to this. I don't want I don't want to go too in with this card yet, because um, I don't want to destroy my scout. I guess it'd be good to go ahead and destroy my scout if he tries to like banish it or something. But so not not the best of cards. Oh, something sacky. Oh yeah, yeah, something sacky. Woo, yay! So this is gonna be fun. All right, people, you ready for some sackiness? Are y'all ready for some sackiness? That's what we came here for, from right, right, right. I said it's routine. I seriously thought that, you know, it, it sure. I mean, that the spark would stay because each week I only use the deck once. You know, it's not like I'm doing like clee 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 clee. Now that sounds like a good point. You know, once a week, bam, there's clee day, so it's once a week. You know, I haven't used clees an entire week, so you know the spark should be there, but no. You see, because the problem is, is that I can't get any good duels because Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole is just getting kind of linear. Which really sucks. It definitely does suck that Yu-Gi-Oh! is getting kind of linear and boring. That nothing much is really happening. You know? It's just kind of just the same decks dueling against the same opponents, you know? And, you know, I'm relying on my opponents to spice up the duel. And I'd say that's the problem. That's the problem. Wow. Ballsy. Ballsy. I mean, he got a dart, so he got lucky. That was, that was ballsy as hell. I, I wouldn't have done that. He, we clearly knew he didn't have any darks in his hand. We, we obviously knew that. Alright. Just trying to figure out what I want to do. Just because I can go ahead and pendulum some of these, which would be fine, and tribute them, but they're going to get... Oh, yeah, any card... As long as card makes are unfilled, any card that sends a bear is removed from play instead. Guess I'll go ahead and take it slow. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. I'll just go ahead and take it slow. Uh, go ahead and give me a helix. Alright, I'll, I'll handle this sacky shit. You don't have to worry. I got this. No. We don't have to fucking scoop over this. We're just some of the 18 beaters stronger than his banisher, which I know he has. So, pretty much I know a good majority of his cards. Oh, right, I can't attack. Fucking messenger. I forgot. Fucking messenger. I forgot my opponent was getting sacky like that, so it's cool. So, oh, totally forgot about Banisher. That's cool, though. It's cool, though. I mean, Banisher. Fucking Messenger. Messenger of Peace. Maybe because he didn't attack? I don't know. I can handle the situation. It's just I don't really want to tribute my shit and get it banished. I'd rather go ahead and be able to handle the Banisher alive without getting banished, but I don't think that's possible. I mean, hey, Macro is one of the cards that is used against Cleese. Oh, another Banisher of Light. That's just awesome. Ah, <sighs> alright. I'm done messing around. This is a card I wanted to go ahead and try it out in Cleese. Yeah, so if I flip it on him, he can only summon fairies, even though at this point, I believe... I want to say better sure the itself to fairy. Yeah, it's a fairy, so... Eh, I ain't doing much. That was it. <clears throat> no, I'm just gonna... Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck At this point, fuck it. Fuck it. No, uh, fine. Get my point. I don't care. Ah, uh, who do I want? I mean, I have two helixes. They're gonna get banished. It sucks, but I need a tributor. 
a tributor. Um, I think I might just go ahead and pop one because I don't really care about this. I care about this. This needs to be gone. Yeah. I'm gonna kill these two, so I think a nice shell would work. Just shell attack twice. Yeah, that works. So I like shell. Shell is is one of my favorite cleats. You know, a 28 beater that attacks twice with piercing? Like, not shit. Almost won me fucking, uh, that duel against Necros and got me my fucking invite. Just that book of, that fucking book of moon stopped me, so. I think I might just go ahead and summon one and then tribute for one. I'm not sure how I feel. No, no, no. I wanna push. I wanna push. I wanna push, and the reason why I wanna push is because, of course, I can attack twice. But I'd rather just go ahead and get more damage in. Like, fuck it. Okay, I'll tribute these two, pop these two, and attack, 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 attack. Like, fuck it. Ah, good, normal summon. Sucks that my fucking losing my helix, but hey, what you gonna do, right? Helix back, helix back. Pop that. Pop that. No. Just clean it up. Clean the fuck up, see? You're like, hey, mirror force! Nah. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm busy. About to beat your ass for being sacky. At least, you know what? At least this isn't monarchs. At least this isn't monarchs, right? Because I do not want to duel against monarchs. Not even in the slightest. I am tired of that deck. I'm gonna go ahead and shave them fucking life points off of your ass. There we go. Now you're back to like my life point territory. That, that, sounds, that sounds fun and fair. That sounds just fantastic. Oh yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, quit, because you're a fucking sacky banishing scrub, like that, what was that? I don't even know, I don't even know what your intentions were, like, what, what was your play? Like, all you did was just slow down the duel with the messenger piece, summoning your banishers, and just be like, alright, I'm just gonna sell them and banish, but then what, you know? What, what, what were you playing? I don't know, I don't know. Another duel win, because, yeah, we're back. Alright, just, just the usual. And yeah, Cleese uh, is back on daily doubles because I wanted to use them uh, for practicing. Pretty much, I want to use Cleese because I have Cleese in real life. Now, the problem is is that they have routine and everything is routine. And despite me working on Cleese here on daily duels to go ahead and eventually create, recreate the deck from Tower Turbo into more defensive Cleese and take it down to locals, the fact that I just don't feel like playing Yu Gi Oh like that, you know? So, when it comes to that, I want to try out Reclaim. Yeah, right now, that's the only reason why I didn't like summon my Helix and be like, uh-huh, I got the skill drain, you know, I want to I want, I want to test out Reclaim. That's essentially what I'm trying to do right now. What is this, the Buster Blader deck? Something like that. I think I saw Buster Blader. Yeah, I did see Buster Blader. Maybe it's not the Buster Blader deck. Maybe I'm just seeing, maybe I'm just seeing, what does this card do? Oh, some spell counter deck. Move some spell counters. With two spell counters from side of field and target one Dark Magician or Buster Blader in your graveyard and special summon that target. Okay. So it is some kind of Buster Blader deck. I just don't know where you're going with this. Alright, so do I just activate this ahead of time and when a level alright, let me let me fuck it, let me try it. I'm gonna go ahead and activate recreate, summon, and uh okay, cause of course the one of the best times to use is when something uh, ignition goes off, because this is uh, of course mandatory and will go first, so the best time you can get is when you change to something so you can Oh, I don't have a clee. That was bad. That was bad. I forgot that you had to have a clee. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I'm already fucking up with fucking reclate. I totally forgot you had to have a clee on the field. Is it on the field? If there's no clear card on the field. That came you know, at least my pendulum scales, then this is gone. Okay. Oops. So it is your fucking, uh... What's it called? Hmm. Think I'm maybe skip flipping up to lose one turn, but uh, nah. I'm just gonna go throw the Regeki out of main phase two, and then he'll just quit. Cause it is the Buster Blader deck. It's just I I didn't know where you were going with it. I think I'm maybe just throwing the MST at your back row. Like fuck it, I'm not gonna throw it at your fucking. Oh wait, I already know what it is. I already know what it is. That fucking trap card duel. Duh, I already knew what it was. Like, what am I doing? That's fine. Actually, you know what? Yeah, summon. Summon, summon. So I can throw this fucking Regeki at you and you can quit. So I can pretty much burn your all your resources. 
Like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's fine. No, oh, no, I don't need to continue. I'm just gonna go to main phase one. I mean, main phase one, or main phase two, throw Regeki out, and he'll be like, oh, quit! Mm hmm. Quit. Not even knowing I had the fucking news one turns to skill drain. I just want to try out three clay and I fucked it up. I was like, oh yeah, let me just go ahead and play it before I summon. Like a dumbass, because you can tell that I don't fucking play that card. You can you can just tell. I did not play that card. Alright, gonna go ahead and put some counters on the in me on shit like that. That's, that's, that's okay, I guess. I don't know. Oh wow, mine crash. <laughs> yeah, quit. I was like, go ahead and quit. Go ahead and quit. Fucking penis butter. <laughs> Penis butter. Oh my god. Yeah, because I already knew you had your quick play spell card, which I can look. I mean, your quick play spell card, your fucking uh, super poly. What is it called? I think it's called. What is it just called? Destruction fusion or something like that? Oh, it's not in the log. And then you have your spell power grasp. I don't know where you were going with that. I mean, you can go ahead and put all the counters you want, but unless you have Endymion or something to go along with it, you're just going to lose eventually, so. Right. Oh, you got thirsty, I threw that Regeki at you. How I could have handled the, the situation without the Regeki was a nice combination of like lose one turn plus the skill drain, because lose one turn, go to defense mode, skill drain, go back up. Actually, I'd only be 24, and I think his booty's 25. His booty's 25, right? I I can't look at the fusion in my log. Eh, fuck it. Oh, get another duel in. Be right back. Alright. Back to the routine. Yeah. I'm just. Spark is gone. Spark is gone, and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm really, literally, this is like my last week before I go ahead and uh, wrap up League. I'm just waiting to wrap up League, essentially. Because I know a good majority of you guys are probably not even watching this. There's a few of you, but you guys came here for League. And uh, analytically wise and channel wise, but my channel has literally just been slowly going down with subscribers. Your phone is blown up. You know, just. You know, what do you do? You do something. When your opponent declares an attack, you can show this card and then end the battle phase. Okay. It's not like, <gasps> but it's not like, you know. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do like usual. I really want to at least test out fucking, uh, uh, recreate. I want to test it out, but just not sure if I'm going to have the opportunity to. Once again, it just seems like I don't need it. You know? It just doesn't seem like I need it. No, there's just so many cards that I'd rather search. I'd rather search for Sacrifice. I'd rather search for a Clean Monster. I'd rather search for, you know, even Climate Change I'd rather search for eventually, you know? Especially when I'm playing Wavering Eyes. I think Climate Change is great when you play Wavering Eyes in Defensive Cleaves. Tower Tribal, you ain't got time for that shit. But in Regular Cleaves, oh yeah, sure. That's that's great, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but seems seems fine. No. Got both my monoliths, which is fine. Oh, I almost played the wrong card. I just want to open up slow, you know. And next time, I definitely feel like I want to go ahead and search for maybe like climate change or something. You know, I just I don't feel like reclay, especially when I'm already playing lose one turn. It's just kind of like, yeah, I get it. I mean, it's a searchable, you know, skill drain s card for cleaves. I get it, but you know, it just doesn't really mechanically work like skill drain, which makes me kind of not want to play it and. I'm gonna go ahead and play my scales, and the only reason I'm playing my scales is because I have another wing guy, so if he tries to come at my scales, I can just be very nice, you know. Which is totally fine in my book. That's that's a totally fine play. I said so far, I don't know what you're playing. I'm assuming some kind of perform mage, performer pal kind of pendulum deck. Oh my god, if you're playing a pendulum deck, GG. GG, that's another reason why I want to play main deck away right nice, is because I can just easily sell a game. <laughs> easily. And it makes you wish that performer Perform ages and pals are like popular. Uh huh. Play your scale. That's fine. And some of flipless fucking wearing eyes, and you're gonna eat my fucking dick. Whoo! God damn. God damn. Yeah. God damn. He's like, holy fucking shit. I'm like, yep. I search that. Don't want to banish a card and fail it. No. Don't add another wave rash. Sure. Like, pretty much, if you're in a pendulum based duel, whoever pulled out the wavering eyes wins, essentially. Not only did I break your scales, but I, I could have banished your card if you had any, but I didn't want to take the risk because I didn't want you to eccentric one of my shits. So I just, like, fuck it up, play it now. And I get an additional wavering eyes to fuck you up later. Like, oh my god, you're lucky I already used one wavering eyes. So I, you now you know I got a wave of fucking wavering eyes. Like, dude, you are about to eat my 
Dick. Yeah. I still don't feel like searching for fucking reclaim. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't. You know what? You know what I definitely feel like searching for? Because I have a feeling that I'm probably going to break my own scales again. And just be cute. I'm going to get climate change. Because if I break my scales again, then I'm going to have no more scouts. So, fuck it. Let's go ahead and get that climate change. Give, give me back my two scouts back to my hand. Like, that sounds fucking fair. That sounds... Yeah. Hey, how do you handle Cleves? Oh, you just break your scales. Oh, well, how about you don't break my scales? How about I just break your ass? Like, how does that fucking sound? Go ahead and just fucking break your ass. Because nine times out of ten, especially when I do it with fucking, uh... When I do it with fucking, uh, Cleves. You know, you take out my two scouts, and I'm hurting. Ah, you know, oh, god damn it, I didn't want something to fucking carry out of my hand. I was dumb. I was dumb. I really didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. I want to fucking tribute the fucking monolith, then... No, I want... I don't even know what the fuck I want to do. I want to... I know I want to tribute the carrier, and have the carrier bounce me back my fucking scout, but... I fucked up. I fucked up, people. I'm... I, I, I messed up. Oh, well. Just messing up. It's routine, though. Just messing up. <laughs> well, right now, I'm, I'm playing... I'm playing the lose one turn, and like I said, lose one turn it may not be searchable, but it gets the job done way better than Reclay. Um, playing the scale drain, playing the vanity. They get the done, dog done, better than reclaim. And like I said, my tech card, especially in the fucking meta with my fucking rivalry, it just seems like that's so much better as well. You know, my fucking my rivalry in the meta. You know, I mean, what besides mirror match and Satellers, it's good against Cosmos. It's good against Necros. It's good against you know, uh, BA. It's just good against so many fucking decks that are popular in the meta right now that. You know, it's just great to go ahead and handle. Go ahead and set your fucking skills up. You know I have another wavering eyes. Like, dude, you are, you are in some deep shit. Oh, recommendation. Okay, you're in some deep shit. Like, okay, that worked. So you're just gonna summon that fucking BLS. Sure. Sure. Better than fucking getting your scale smashed over and over again. Mhm. Mm are you just gonna come after me because you fucking can? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know where you're going with this. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know where you're going with this. I said, I got this little in the bag. I win. Oh, ooh, you're gonna talk about monster sacrifice, so it's not destroyed. Awesome. Thanks for that. Anything else? Oh, you wanna crash with me? Sure. You go back to the deck, I go back to the extra deck, but I'm gonna go ahead and pen someone because my scales are set up, like, GG, man. I got this. I got this in a fucking bag, man. I don't know. That would have been nice last turn, but I didn't need it. And now, once again, it seems like I really don't fucking need slash one. Uh, my reclay. It seems like over and over again. It's kind of like anytime I, it's time to search for reclay, I'd rather just search for something else. That's what it really feels like every single time. I'll go ahead and punch him something back. My carrier. Tribute. Attack, attack, attack. No. Oh. Normal summon. Tribute you. And I want to bounce you back, so I guess I'll tribute you. Carrier effect. Carrier effect. Sacrifice effect. Carrier, put you back in the hand. Carrier, put you back in the hand. Sacrifice. Go ahead and get me a search. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe it's a clean monster, so even if I wanted to search for fucking reclay, it's just meh right now. So go back, go back, attack game. GG's! By GG's, I mean, that was easy. Like I said, as soon as I wavering eyes you. I don't think, I don't think there's ever been a duel where I wavering eyes someone, got all four effects, and then lost. I think every single time that I've done that, you know, there'd be in like a clean mirror match, or, you know, my locals, uh, my friend Alex Wiener plays, uh, uh Zephyrus. And you wavering eyes him, and you get all four effects, you don't lose. Like, you just went so fucking... It's the additional wavering eyes. Like, not only am I breaking your scales, banishing a card on your field, searching for out a scout, but I get another wavering eye. So as soon as I... And then, you know, unless you can go ahead and set your, reset your scales up, in which, of course, I already broke two. So unless you have two more scales to go ahead and reset up your scale, in which case you know I'm searching for an additional wavering eyes, so you can really get back into this duel. I'm going to next turn, I'm going to go ahead and go off most of my plays, and you can either... Next turn, set up your scales again, which I can break you with wavering eyes, or you can set up your play your scales during the current turn, do your plays, I'm gonna break you again next turn. Like that wavering eyes, searching that wavering eyes, searching that wavering eyes, when you get that four, it's just like, oh my god. 
No, I feel like I have one more goal. One more turn. I'm only gonna get, get nice and linear. Let's go ahead and shoot for a little bit longer. Go back. Alright. So, like I said, I'm totally prepared to lose a nice chunk of subscribers. I think I lost, like, at least 50 subscribers. Like, it was like league hype, and then just went pew, back down, which is fine, you know. And with league being over, I would not be surprised if just a good majority of my subs just unsub just because, uh, there's no more league, you know. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead, since I opened up with a lot of Klee monsters, go ahead and just pull off the Monolith play. Sure, why not? Go ahead and search for Scout. Scout, search for Monolith. Tempted to summon these two. Tribute Dumb, summon Shell. I'm fine with that. Yeah. It's, it's no, uh... It's no Stealth, Return, Scout, Replay, Search. But it's better than nothing. Like I said, I totally don't mind summoning the 28 beater who's unaffected by any... Thing that's level rank is lower. It's one of the things since that incentivizes me to play Cleese, besides being like one of the first Pendulum decks. And my first Pendulum deck in real life, it's just that, that those effects are so fucking good, you know? It just kind of sucks that, you know, Tower Turbo is not good. It's not, it's not good. And if you think Tower Turbo is good, you're wrong. It's not. It's not a good deck right now. So. Got double Helix. No, no, no Helix, no. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that play, summon fucking shell, set the mind crash, see if I can pull it off. Even though I generally don't like using mind crash on the other duels, just because I, I can either duel against meta decks, good decks that I can use mind crash on, or I can just duel against scrub, so, you know, it's not as obvious as just dueling in real life. Or the chances of me dueling against someone I could probably pull this mind crash off is better, but we'll try. We'll try. I just wanted to test it out. I just wanted to see the consistency, how much does it conflict with everything. Alright, upstart. Seen that a lot more. Decks that are running more than 40 cards, yet running fucking, uh, uh, upstart. And I get it, but it's kind of just me. The reason why it's an easy card to side out when you're siding, you know? You know that's a guaranteed three cards that you could just side out. So I'm seeing decks run like 41 cards and, you know, run three upstarts just because they can go, alright, take out three upstarts, put something else in. So, right. okay. That's what you want to do. I can't stop none of this. I can't stop none of this. He can summon the Crystal Pegasus. He can X E summon. I can't do shit. I can't do shit. I will not be surprised if he just goes for X Total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The X E is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh well, at least he can X Total me. He can definitely fucking uh, motherfucking uh, what's it called, me though. I mean, I could, I could, I could, he's probably going to let Nietzsche me. If, if I was going to guess anything, he's probably going to let Nietzsche me. You know, and once again, model is just a little bit too slow. I wish I would have fucking... I just opening play. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess. That's that's fine. I really thought you were going to let Nietzsche Dory me. But I guess my Nietzsche Dory can't do shit against this fucking Cleefoy shell, so... I guess I see where you're coming from. Like, okay. I said, I mean, I, I don't know what good this fucking Heartland is going to do, so hopefully this back row or something stopped me, because if not, I'm just literally just going to pound with someone tribute pop, so. Like, literally, I'm about to beat the shit out of you next turn, so. Hope you're prepared. Well, at least this video will be done. His duel is going to be a quick one. Like, Crystal Beast, come on. At least it's different, but. Crystal Beast, they're just, they were never there. They were never there. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take that. So, hopefully it's something. It's, I mean, oh, fuck it. I got Helix and I'll throw the MST. I'm not sure how I feel about the main deck MST here, especially since I have Helix. And MST is up for good some decks and then down for some others. I don't know. Seems like it's really good for the mirror match, but, you know, I main deck waiver nice, so. So, what do you do? Oh, okay. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. I'm about to destroy your crystal piece anyway. I'm literally gonna shadow you. Shadow your shadow? Shadow? I'm gonna shadow all your crystals. Like, Shadows and fucking please, guys. How that sounds? Fucking pro. Go ahead and fuse into Shikinaga as long as they don't have her scales because they're earth and they're dark. It's out. Oh my god, it's pretty good, right? It's too pro. You're like, damn, shut the fuck up. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm gonna take a break after this week. After League is over. See how many subscribers I lose and come back with a fresh 
new plan because everything is so routine. So it's 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 a job. It's a job. Yeah. And that's part probably partially my fault because I just play Yu-Gi-Oh so fucking much. It just you know, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and take weekends off so that I'll be nice and refreshed from Yu-Gi-Oh. And then I'm like, hey, League, I'm gonna put shit up during the weekend when I said I wasn't. Like, you know, I'm just sitting here contradicting myself, and you no, know, it's a job. You know? It's not like it's, it's not like, yeah, I get to play Yu-Gi-Oh for my dreams and scrap. It's like, shit, I gotta fucking do my fucking nine to five slash record videos in duel when I don't feel like it. You know, and so it sucks. You know. I thought that, I thought that the, the routine would be what sets my channel apart, but really it's what digs myself into a damn hole. Like, hurry up! Holy fuck, how long does it take you to get a goddamn crystal beast and put it in your zone so I can pop it anyway? Like, you might as well just go ahead and quit. Like, you lose. I'm about to beat your ass, but do your thing. You know? Do your fucking thing. Yeah, and... I'm of course not big enough to step away from anything. I I, know, I tried to do other things. If you were here on my channel previously, I used to do other things like Yu-Gi-Oh, but my viewers didn't want that. They just wanted the Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Yeah, and uh, essentially, I'm I'm what I'm trying to be is like the Game Grumps of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, just uploading various different Yu-Gi-Oh contents every day. You guys get the Yu-Gi-Oh contents, but you know, it's just really linear, really linear. And, you know, sometimes Game Grumps is linear, but, you know, at least they, you know, they make progressions. You know, they play a video game, and each time you see a video, they're progressing through the game until they beat it. I mean, really, how can I beat Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? I, I can win duels, but, you know, there's no really beating Yu-Gi-Oh. You can always come back and duel and duel and duel and duel, you know? And that's probably the problem. Anyway, he's going to send a Crystal Beast, Pendulum Summon, you to my, to my two Helixes, Tribute them, Summon, uh... Uh, stealth. He looks pop. He looks pop. This, I mean, stealth bounce. 28, 28, 28. Is that game? Is that game? 28, 28, 28. I think it's close. 28 times 3. Times 3. Is that game? Yeah, that's game. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do at fucking, uh, that would be almost the identical play that I tried to do at my regions invite. Clean. Except it was the other, it was the verse the other way around. I had, I attributed stealth on the field. I punched him some in uh, Helix says tribute them for shell, and then he had the Pokemon and put down my shell. If only it was flipped. If only if I could, if only it was flipped. If it was flipped, I would have won. But of course, I would win. You know, you know, shell. I mean, stealth bounce and tap 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 tap. But you know, I already had the stealth. I was pushing for game, and I was in time. I was like, oh, I got I shell or bust, and I had the Helix, and I was like, Helix pop, and he's like, train Pokemon like motherfucker. Ah, uh, anyway. I'm done. I'll, I mean, of course, I'll be back. You know, I just I haven't really been trying. I really I haven't been trying. Besides besides trying to wrap up league, that's really the only thing I'm trying. You know, I eventually will get on Skype and eventually contact someone to go ahead and join me for the required videos. But you know, even that I'm kind of just meh with. And you know, and if you were to ask me then, are you happy with what you're doing with your channel? I'd be like, no, no, I'm not happy. But why am I doing it? Because sacrifices, you know, I, 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 I will go out my effort to make you guys happy, but am I happy? No, you know, but, you know, that's just the kind of person I am. You know, I will bend over backwards to, you know, make others happy, but I don't really think about myself. You know, and, you know, do you want to quit Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, I'd quit Yu-Gi-Oh, but then that would make you guys unhappy, so that's why I'm not quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know, like I said, I'm going to take a break after League is over. Get out of this rut. Anyway. Sorry to bother you guys. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Here's your daily duels. And I'll be sure to at least attempt to stay on schedule for the rest of the week. Alright people, thanks for watching.